Good morning, beautiful people. As you can see, I am filming with a different setup. I finally got myself a vlogging camera from this century. Uh, my old vlogging camera was a Sony A500, A5100, which I'm sure you all know because that was a very popular one in its time. Unfortunately, I never really took it out because I found it really large and I hate like this massive camera um, and I kept it because it had the flip up screen and that was really handy and then the A6000 I think it, it just came out but it didn't flip up anyways none of this matters the point is it's a new camera it's a very clear camera it's better than filming on my phone because my phone doesn't have a lot of storage and it's hard to take five minute HD clips and get it on your computer sometimes and this is just much easier. So anyways, I'm getting ready to shoot um, Carolina is waiting for me. I'm probably gonna be late, but I wanted to show you guys. Sorry I'm holding it on the tripod. I wanted to show you guys my base. I was just so compelled I've got quite a few like breakouts here um, Did a few self extractions here don't recommend but I still did it and then I've got some breakouts here and one down here honestly I have no idea what happened there's a few new things I've been trying I don't know if it's like a sunscreen that I've been trying like I don't know it just kind of I had like a really rough night um, if you follow me on uh, Instagram which you should um, I went out for Oktoberfest and I definitely didn't get all of the stuff off of my face and the next day I woke up with a whole colony of people so yeah, but in terms of base, I'm just gonna quickly grab it because otherwise I'm going to be going crazy. So a few things, um, we've got <clears throat> one pump of the Dolce & Gabbana Millennial Skin, I hate that name, On The Glow Tinted Moisturizer, uh, SPF 30 PA++. Uh, I'm sure this is very similar to the Laura Mercier, but I haven't used that one in years and I know that they've repackaged it and I think they've reformulated it. I like this because, um, yeah, it gives really nice soft skin like coverage and obviously it's got um, SPF. And then um, I grab a brush and I go over it with this, which is the Tante Idol Ultra Cushion, um, Ultra Cushion. I have the color 450 Suede N, which is neutral. This is so old, I need to replace it, but I love that foundation. Um, the one in the bottle I think is okay. It's just better suited for someone with more oily combo skin, but that one, even though it's oil-free, is amazing. I think it gives such good coverage, skin-like finish, it adds. So I basically use that just kind of like on the outer perimeters of my face to give more coverage, obviously, because I've got some stuff going on. And then concealer-wise, I've got this one from Sephora, which is like cracked on the top. You can't see it, but it's really annoying. It's the Sephora Clear and Cover. It's the um, concealer with 2% salicylic. Love this for when I'm breaking out. Um, if you guys follow me on um, stories a lot, then you know I've mentioned the It Cosmetics one as well. They're both good. Um, I like the Sephora one. Sephora one's pretty new. I got it in Italy. And under eye, I've got NYX Born to Glow. I really like this concealer. This one is the color Neutral Buff. Um, I like to mix it because it's super yellow. And today, or what I've been doing lately, is mixing it with the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. This color is Peanut Butter. Guys, this concealer is amazing. It was on sale in Sephora, and I was so shocked. Um, I don't know if because maybe like the color, because I got it in Italy, and these are like maybe like deeper colors, but it is amazing. It's very, I like to really mix a yellow base concealer with something that's a bit more um, orange or neutral because it gives a better like dark circle correcting. Obviously orange balances out the blue. Um, but these two together are really good. I also like to mix this with the um, the hourglass one that I use a lot as well. But I had to get on here and show you guys my base. There's no powder yet. I will set with my Zoeva, which I love. Um, I already have my backup. This is the Zoeva Finishing Powder in Remarkable. I love this powder. I really do. 
um, I will set it with that and maybe go over with my Maybelline foundation powder, maybe not, and then uh, finish the look off and do the usual. I'm late, so I really should get going. <laughs> okay, so just finished shooting. I'm with Carolina. She's holding the camera for me. Hi. Because our tripod, <laughs> my tripod is terrible. It's my new one. Um, it's kind of chilly today, no? But not as cold but as not it's as been. Cold, yeah. yeah, it's been super, super cold lately. Um, and I was getting all these random messages of people saying that, oh, you should be so used to it because you're from Toronto. And it's like, but it's still cold. Like, it's still cold and you get used to things, you know? So that's where we're at. New coat from Zara. Super cute. Sunglasses are Linda Farrow and the Attico collab. <clears throat> I got these on a big sale, I think, Farfetch a while ago. If they're still around, I will link them down below, of course. Um, this is the first time we've shot content on a Saturday in a while, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's been crazy busy, obviously, because everyone's on the street and it just takes forever to get anything done. But we've done our work for the day, done our work for the week, so we're gonna go home now, relax, and enjoy the rest of our weekend, right? I'm back home. <clears throat> I started taking these a month ago. Oh, woman, I'm like matching. Um, I can't really take pills. I'm not really good at swallowing pills and stuff. So if there is a gummy option, I will take it. I know it's not as pure. That sucks, but it's like less pure. But then I take actually take them every day. Like this is my second bottle because you're supposed to take three. Yeah, three with your main meal. So if you take it every day, you'll end up finishing them in a month. So we'll see if it actually helps. But I went to uh, get like my breast checked, which I try and go regularly, um, at least once every year, once every two years. I don't get mammograms because I'm not allowed to. And just because like I'm, I'm too young. Um, but I highly request like younger women to get breast ultrasounds. Just to check, you can always do like a self-check and get your doctor to do a self-check, but there's nothing like an ultrasound to really see what's going on in there, especially if you have dense breasts, which I do. Um, and the lady recommended the Well Woman, like the original formula. This obviously is not the true original formula because it's the original formula, but gummies. But um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I supplement with other like vitamin C's, vitamin D's, B12's, but... Um, there's some other things in here that I think could be really helpful too. I'm just going to relax, um, take a chill pill. Sorry, the lighting's bad. Take a chill pill before I go out this evening. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. It's a bit chilly, but I know what I want to wear. I'm just really excited to kind of get dressed up and I will show you guys where I'm going once I get there. Oh my God. My sister sent me mail. And I thought she was sending me Christmas cards. She actually sent me pictures of my niece. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, sorry, I say that a lot, but it's just easier because I know that I reference more things there. I have a darling niece who just turned one. Um, and she is just the cutest little piece of pie. Look at her. Oh, Aww. look at my baby. Look at my baby. I'm obsessed with her, uh, as you can tell by my little squeal. Love her to bits. Oh. Look at my little baby. Look at her face. Look at her face. She is so cute and like so big for a one year old. So I always make the joke that she wasn't actually ready to like enter the world. She just ran out of room because she wasn't a big baby, but she was like top two percentile in terms of length, like even like in utero. And I was like, she's just gonna run out of room and that's when she's gonna come. So cute, honestly. I just love her to miss. Oh, my little chew. Yeah, anyways, had to share those with you guys because that is so freaking cute. I love her, she looks like a toddler. I mean, I guess when you're one, you're not a baby anymore. Are you a toddler? It's crazy and she's got so many teeth like usually you have like maybe like a few she's got like eight she, like it's insane 
She's so cute. Just had to share that with you guys. night was so lovely uh, it's a shame I've waited this long to go and um, go to the opera in real life it was so so nice um, we saw La Traviata which I don't know if I La Traviata I want to say it in French but it's Italian um, yeah it was such a good story and like interesting um, it was so nice it was like a packed house which I wasn't really sure because sometimes the theater um, I've been a couple times it's not that busy and then sometimes it is busy but it was also Saturday night so obviously it's gonna be pretty busy um, the range of outfits so obviously back in the day this was like a pretty formal affair and now um, to be more inclusive and accessible they don't really require like a dress dress code so you definitely saw people in like sneakers and jeans and then um you know you saw people in heels and like midi gowns and then I saw a woman in a full blown like gown shawl she looked incredible um so it was nice you can kind of make it what you want um got home crawled straight into bed it's Sunday I've got a working Sunday today just for a little bit um, this morning and then uh, early afternoon I have a meeting soon and then um, after that I'm gonna chill um, I've been going hard this past week even though I've got a cold so I'm gonna relax enjoy my Sunday it is super sunny today which is so nice you already know if the Sun is sunning in London it's gonna be an amazing beautiful day so Got a little bit of work to do. I'm gonna try and go to the brunch spot a bit early because I didn't make a reservation and I can't get one online. Which is really annoying. So we'll see how we get on. It was so beautiful earlier and it's already like freezing. I am just walking quickly to meet my friend for coffee and ketchup. After my meeting, I spent most of the afternoon inside, just like organizing, planning, working, which I try not to do on the weekends, honestly. I try to really just keep the weekends free. I'm someone that will like overload their Monday to Friday and then keep their weekends chill. Um, but today, just couldn't do that, so I'm going to meet my girl for coffee and ketchup, and then just chill for the rest of the evening. It is freezing. Like, wow, 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 wow. Why am I so cold? Don't know, but it's cold. <laughs> for this roast. It's amazing. Good morning, good morning. It is Monday and I'm heading out for coffee, jumper, puffer. I get so much compliments on this puffer. It's from, um, it's H&M, but like old H&M. And it's so funny because I remember when this, they came out with this color and then like a orangey tan color. I didn't really love that color. And I remember at one point, this was like on clearance in Toronto Eaton Center for $30. And I had bought mine before it went on clearance, but 
This jacket is amazing. I get so many compliments on it. It is so warm. The way it lays out, it's like a funnel, massive hood. Like this was just such a steal. It's kind of one of those pieces that I wish I had even bought a backup just in case because it's that bomb. This is an old beanie from And Other Stories, old free people glasses. If you've been following me on Insta for a long time, you know that I love these glasses. I've been rocking them since I bought them. I think I bought a backup as well. Um, they don't make them anymore. They're called the Kensington. If you can ever hunt them down, I love them. Big glasses for life. I'm gonna head out, get some coffee, grab some food, and then start my day. Oh.